Oh my god, I'm panicking. This place is so big. I don't know where to go. Oh no, I don't know what to go. To get us on our way, make sure your seat is up, all electronic devices are put away, and your tray table is stoned. Six hours later. seen Popeyes written in Chinese. Yo! This is like Gangnam, but American. I am in my Airbnb in New York. This is my room. The little cozy room with a nice bed, a real bed, and a window, and this, this, and this creepy wardrobe that looks like it's gonna have a like a dead body somewhere if I look closely up there, but I don't want to go. So I'm gonna just close it and not look at it for the rest of my stay. I'm gonna get ready just just in case I go out for like dinner or something because we've got nothing in the house anyway. So I'm just gonna get my contacts on because I can't see anything right now. I'm ready, I'm already ready. Court. That's a nice doggy. I got a drunk man noodles. I'm going on a little exploration trip to Brooklyn Bridge and I have no idea where I'm going because the Google map shows like I'm going like the opposite way of where I'm supposed to be going from Brooklyn Bridge, but I'm gonna go. Those lights confuse me. Am I supposed to cross or not cross? And maybe that's Brooklyn Bridge. I think this is Brooklyn Bridge. This is the bridge, I think. I don't know where I'm going. Damn it. Okay, I'm here, but the spot that I was looking for was like here around the Dumbo area. I'm just gonna look around the place that I'm at around right now. The most aesthetic shot I can get of the bridge. That, that's, that's it. <laughs> I'm like here. So maybe I'll try to walk here to Soho area. No ho. <laughs> what? Is this like some sort of like a like a torture machine or something? Oh, it's a rowing machine. Oh. We're at this little cafe thing, like back patio place, and it's really nice. Today I was just looking around town for a little bit, just exploring on my own. I just went to Trader Joe's. I got like 20 protein bars for my sister. So I got all the protein bars I could get from. Uh, Trader Joe's. They don't seem to have uh, the carrot cake flavored Oreos that my sister asked and I'm panicking. I don't know where to go. Oh my gosh, I gotta get cereals. Okay, where's the cereal? Where's the cereal? <sighs> I'm at Central Park. Lots of greenery. I've missed it. This is good. I just climbed these rocks. It's like super slippery here, but I got a nice view here. Apparently that building is like three years old and that building is three years old as well. I'm heading off to go to my second live show ever in New York. I'm shitting myself! This is where I'm gonna be playing. It's so nice. Oh my God, the view from here. Oh, it's so epic here. Clouds and the sun over here. Unreal. Oh my god. Place has like this really, really cool piano, which sounds really, really nice.
Um, there's this like massive trash truck right in front of my accommodation. I'm just recording the audio on my phone just in case. It is my last night in the in the United States. The last two weeks have been a heck of a journey. It actually felt more like like a month than than two weeks. I got to do my first photo shoot, first live show ever, meet all my teams, socialize for the first time in a long, long time, ate loads of new foods that I've never tried before. Oh, and also I got to like write, have writing sessions with other producers and artists and musicians, which was so cool. I think that was actually my favorite part of the trip. Yeah, man, it's... Um, it has been an eye-opening, very exciting, very almost life-changing experience. It's given me hope that actually I want to do more things. I want to venture out, collaborate more, make music with other musicians, make cooler videos and take cooler photos. Not like in a, you know, oh, I'm so cool in a way, but like just spice things up a little bit, you know? So, yeah. It's, this has been Suli reporting from my temporary wider, bigger bedroom here in New York. <laughs> I gotta do a two-week quarantine, so I don't know about that. <laughs>